Hello guys. I realized that I've never made one of these videos before, um, even back in my consistent days, you know. But I do kind of want to come around maybe every other month or so and just kind of talk about things that I'm liking at the moment. Whether it's something that I just found or something that I've been, you know, down with for years. And I wanted to come and share it with you guys. So the first thing that I want to talk about is this necklace. I, and forgive me, I know that I always probably say the name of this company incorrectly but it's from Sofiel. please if I'm saying it wrong just just let me know <laughs> so they're an online retailer that specializes in a bunch of personalized um, gifts that you can either get for yourself or for one of your loved ones you guys were entering into uh, graduation season this will be like one of the perfect things that you can get for a graduate, um, whether it be their name or, you know, something to just kind of signify that they're graduating, whatever the case may be, you can put whatever you want on there. Um, and so this is my latest necklace from them. And I decided to get my name all lowercase letters because I either like things all uppercase or all lowercase. And with this particular font that I have, it looks way better all lowercase I'm more of a script person versus like a, a normal like Arial font or something like that I'm more of a script person a lot of things that you'll notice about me will have that kind of feel or that kind of font whether it's my blog or whether it's my YouTube which by the way I'm looking for people to make banners and things I don't know if you guys noticed but I did change my channel name it's just Shonda now the district by Miss Shonda was becoming way too complicated and so I didn't want Miss Shonda back because I feel like I'm I'm just Shonda that's that's me that's a whole nother video let's talk about this necklace and so this necklace was actually really inexpensive I believe it was like 40 something dollars I can't remember but guess what your girl got y'all a coupon code <laughs> thank you can thank me later so I'm going to put the coupon code in the description box as well as across the video so that you guys can go over there if you're looking for a gift for a loved one. I know Mother's Day has already come and gone, but even if it's a late Mother's Day gift, if you got a daddy that's into this sort of thing, by all means. There's other things other than necklaces that's on the site, so you may be able to find something to appeal to dad. Or if you're looking for something for that graduate, maybe someone's having a baby, you know, all sorts of things that you can do with a script necklace. So. Your girl got y'all a coupon code. Go ahead and use it. It'll get you 15% off. You're welcome. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about are these shoes. And I bought these shoes over at Fabletics. Okay, so first of all, I've been with Fabletics since their inception. When I tell you guys, once once Fabletics became a company, I was all in. I, I actually really like their workout gear. Last year around, I want to say around Thanksgiving, I want to say around Thanksgiving, sometime around there, they had like a huge sale wall where I think their whole site was, I don't remember how many percents, but it was a lot of percent off. And so I picked up like 200 and something dollars worth of stuff and I, out of pocket, I think with all my credits and stuff that I had, I think I only paid maybe 10 or 15 bucks. And I was like, okay, Shonda, okay. I'll insert a picture of one of the outfits that I actually blogged about. And this one, I think, was my favorite one. That's why I blog about it. Olive green, one of my favorite colors, hands down. So you can catch me at olive green. You can catch me with the color gray. And you'll catch me with, I'll talk about that one in a little bit. Because that's one of the things that I'm loving. These shoes, when I purchased them, or when I was looking through the site, I was like, you know... Let me go through these shoes because, you know, some of the shoes are pretty cute. And I was just thinking in the back of my mind, like, what if they're not good quality? You know what I'm saying? What if I go to the gym, which is another video, and work out, you know, on the first sight of any kind of jump squats or something, the mugs, I blow out of them. That was in the back of my mind, but I was like, all right, I'm getting them on sale. It's totally fine. If I don't like them or if they don't hold up, I, it's not too much of a loss for me though when I tell you guys these are like one of my favorite 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 pair of shoes and I'm I'm spitting a little bit I'm so sorry they're like super cushiony on the inside I mean it's almost I don't want to call it a memory foam because it actually bounces back but it's almost 
to some degree of something like that if that makes any sense extremely uh, bendable at the toe I've actually gotten caught in the rain in these and they've still held up I wish that they made them in pink or I wish that they sold them in pink because I would be all on them like hot pink soft pink baby pink whatever pink that you want to put it in I would own them absolutely loving this olive green again one of my favorite colors so it was it was kind of meant to be with those <laughs> okay so the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about I mean it's pretty evident that I like red lipstick now I can remember back in a day gosh I don't even remember what um, video we were talking about or I was talking about it in but I had mentioned that you know I was I was scared of red lipstick many many moons ago and um, I remember um, Kiki telling me just try uh, Ruby Woo with, forget the name of the liner. I forgot the name of the liner. And so I went out and I bought it. I was afraid, but then I put it on and I was like, yes, looking for other shades of red over the years. And I could never find anything that, you know, grasped me like Ruby Woo did. And so one of my friends at work came to work with this lip on okay and I was like what is that and she was like oh it's from the lip bar and I was like I rock with the lip bar I've never seen this color before what is it called and so she was like it's called boss lady and I was like well I want to be a boss I need to find this lip color she was like girl I got you the next day I come to work she got the dang on lip color on my desk Cause you know the lip bar is in Target now. If you didn't know, now you know. The lip bar is in Target, which excites me to no end. It's just amazing to see this group of women, or this one woman actually, I'm sure she has a team behind her now, but Melissa Butler, who is the founder of the lip bar, it's crazy to see her journey, man. Just from making this stuff in her home, to going on Shark Tank and getting shot down by the sharks because they didn't believe in her. And I'm pretty sure she at the crib like, oh, you didn't believe in me, but look at me now. <laughs> kudos, big, big ups to, and kudos to uh, Melissa Butler. She has a really great product here. This is one of my absolute favorite shades. I'm wearing it right now because I rocks with it. I'm gonna have to go and get a couple more replacements of this. Boss Lady, one of my favorites. She just dropped another one on Mother's Day that's a little bit light, that's lighter and brighter than this one that I gotta go and pick up. I forget the name of it. She is so genuine and one of the sweetest souls. I've actually gotten a chance to meet her um, when she had actually had her truck, um, the Lit Bar truck, and she did an event at um, Thrift on the Ave in Detroit. And so I actually got to meet her and she's like one of the sweetest people ever. It's just like you, you get so excited when you see people that's doing their things, you know what I'm saying? And you meet them and they're like humble as pie, like between her and me, Ray. And, you know, I have others in my head, but those are the two that, you know, just sticks out to me. They're like, I get goosebumps because my fellow Detroit sisters is out here doing it big. And so kudos to her. If you haven't checked out the lip bar, you don't have to go and get red. They actually got a, a gloss, a clear gloss that I'm going to be getting to. But um, this is absolute favorite red on the planet. Um, it surpassed Ruby Woo. The consistency of it, the the actual, um, what am I trying to say, y'all? This is how y'all know I don't wear makeup or I don't do makeup. The formula, the formula of it, it's a matte, but it doesn't dry your lips out like Ruby Woo. <laughs> I hate to say it, but Ruby Woo used to dry my lips out all the time, but I didn't care because I couldn't ever find a red to replace it. But this one I can wear all day. It doesn't make my lips peel. You know how your uh, lips will peel if you wear a matte lipstick for too long or throughout the day? Lips dry out and then they start to peel. I don't know. It could be just me, but that's what happens whenever I wear matte. I love the lip bar. She'll always have a friend in me, a fan in me. I, I can't say, I mean, maybe friend, but fan for sure. Okay, so the next thing on the topic of colors, um, remember I was telling you guys about my favorite colors, um, gray, all-time favorite color. 
gray, hands down. I love gray. Um, then comes in, well, I don't know. These two colors are probably neck and neck, number two. But olive green and then mustard. So let me tell y'all something. I have recently, over the last year or so, just fallen in love with mustard yellow. And I actually got a series brewing in my brain of some things that I'm gonna be making videos about. Mustard and myself, we have become one, okay? I don't know why I've been hating on yellow for so many years. I bought this dress and blogs it. I actually bought that dress from uh, Just Fab and it reminded me, I mean, obviously I know it's not a perfect match, but just, excuse me, it reminded me, it, gave, it made me wanna give a nod to uh, Beyonce's Hold Up. And so around the time that I got that dress, that's when Lemonade was big. So obviously I made a blog post about it <laughs> and it was, a, it was a really good shoot. The next item that I wore was maybe about a month or so ago where I went blogging. Don't look at my hair, y'all. I hate my hair in these photos. I hate it and I hate it with a passion. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, so I bought this sweater from Target. I wanna say earlier this year, you know how when seasons are turning, well, when retail seasons are turning because January is when they're trying to get rid of all their sweaters and everything and I think they had sweaters, um, I think they were half off or something. So I picked up a couple sweaters. This was one of them. I think it was like 750 or something like that at Target. Why have I been sleeping on the color yellow? I mean, it just looks so good on my skin. That's one of the things I'm loving. I don't see that being a turn off at any point, so you'll probably get tired of me in yellow. Okay, so my next favorite thing on the planet or the things that I'm loving is this Starbucks cup that I got from Girl Buy. This is another one of my Detroit ladies that's doing it big, and so she is like the jack of all trades when it comes to like, creating things i have numerous amounts of different items from her from detroit earrings i have a flask um well it's not a flask it's a bottle that could be used as a flask maybe so many different things that i have from her and this is my latest and so it's a personalized starbucks cup and it has miss shonda on it and on the back where on your normal Starbucks cup, you would have like your decaf and your shots and syrups and all of that. Those checks, uh, check boxes on there, they have rhinestones. And then there's rhinestones across the top. Uh, the top. We got the straw with the uh, stopper on it so that it doesn't come out. One of my favorite things right now, I'm afraid to take this to work, even though it has my name on it. Shouldn't nobody take it. It's only one other person at my job with my name the exact same way that it's spelled and I'm pretty sure she's not a thief. I gotta tell you guys the story on how I acquired this item. So I was in the mall with my husband, which is rare because I hate going to the mall, which is weird because I like fashion anyway. So we were in the mall and we went by Champ Sports and I saw this set and I was like, oh my God, I gotta have it. and. <laughs> Um, my husband gave me a couple side eyes and I was like, this love is not meant for you to understand, obviously. And I'm just not even talking about it. Well, yeah, let me finish the story. Okay, so I was like, nope, too expensive. I don't want to spend that much money on it. I left. And so on Mother's Day, I opened out one of my gifts and it is the set. And I'm like, I'm pissed off because I'm like, I know how much this costs. Now, unless you got it on sale, I don't even want to hear it. We need to take this back because it's expensive to me. I don't really like to spend a lot of money on my clothes, at least not for one outfit, not for one casual outfit. And so he repackaged that whole deal and was like, well, Karis wanted you to have this for Mother's Day. So it's from your daughter. It's not from me, it's from your daughter. This is your Mother's Day gift from your daughter. And I'm like, I can't tell my daughter no. I can't be mad anymore because it's from my daughter. And so I just learned to live with it because I really wanted this outfit. And so don't be giving me the stank eye, y'all, because it is so gaudy. And it is this champion sweatsuit. 
I'm gonna just do this, but I'm gonna insert photos in. And so I got the uh, sweater and I got the pants in this color. Um, Y'all are like, Shondo, your favorite color is gray. Why didn't you get the gray? Because the gray wasn't gaudy enough. And I was going for that whole extra gaudy, over-the-top, obnoxious factor. I, I'm drawn to stuff like that. As basic as I am, like, I'm so basic, but I'm extra. Like, I don't understand. Like, I'm basic in real life, but in real life, I'm extra. I don't know how that works. But yeah, I'll insert some photos because I did go out and shoot it over the pa this past weekend and I put a blog post up. None of y'all can clock me on this. I absolutely love this um, jumpsuit or sweatsuit and I'm a racket. I mean, it's about to be a little too warm here in Michigan to be wearing a whole snowsuit up in this piece. But listen, Okay, so another thing that I kind of introduced you guys to a little bit earlier this year was the world of planning. And I've actually been slacking a lot because I had a situation that just threw me all over the place for like the month of March and April, which is where I probably should have been using my planner at the most at that particular moment, but it just kind of threw me all off balance. And so I've been thinking that I'm gonna just start fresh in June and get back to my planning. And so I got a ton of planners here. I actually got a bunch at work too. I meant to bring the latest one home that I purchased for work. That one begins in June. But um, for now, all of the planners that I have right now are uh, the Happy Planner ones. And I feel like I probably have other ones too. I'm, so let me, let me retract this. I'm like, I'm not only a planner person, I'm a stationary person. I love notebooks. Like I literally probably have like 20 empty notebooks. And it's like, if I go to Target, that's my spot. But if I go to Target and they're like on sale and they're cute, I'm buying it. Even though I don't need it, but I know that I'm going to end up using it. I've actually, let me, oh, it's right here. I've actually been using this one a lot lately. Let me save my page here. Yeah, this is one of my favorite books right here. I got so many different ones, big ones, small ones. When they're in sale, I just go and I buy them. But um, yeah, this is my all time favorite. I kind of take this everywhere with me. It's a little dirty. I gotta wipe it off, but this is my trusted. I love this book. I love all of the wording that's on it and it just when I saw this I was like it gotta be mine and I definitely use it so far as my planners go the ones that I have at home I got a few at work as well um, but this is the one that I shared with you guys in the video earlier this year so this is my big happy planner um, I kind of got tired of how big that one was but now that I'm thinking about it I kind of think I want to go back to the big one so to replace that one, I bought this Happy Planner. So the normal classic size with the pretty uh, rainbow um, discs. But then I wasn't like in love in love with it because of all of that. You know, it's just, it was too busy for me. And so <laughs> I, bought, I bought this one to replace that one. I actually really, really like this one. I love everything about this one. But, you know, just life kind of got in the way in March and April and some things started happening that I needed to take care of and get a real grasp on and so this just fell all the way to the wayside I'm definitely gonna start back up start fresh with June and then I got my mini my mini I just love it because it's so cute and then I got like the baby baby ones because this is the mini and then the, I got a couple of the little small ones I don't even know where they are Okay, we're coming up to the end, guys. Only two more things. So I have, I, in 2019, or once we were turning over to the new year, I was like, I really, 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 really want to start reading more. Uh, the types of things that I actually like to read are like fantasy, um, Harry Potter, Alice in Wonderland, things like that. And honestly, um, Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite things. And so I bought this, this was one of my, this was a Christmas gift to myself. And I bought this from Barnes and Noble for like $40. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's the most I've ever spent on a book. But it's a book and it has 78 million pages. And it is Alice in Wonder, I'm sorry, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and other stories. And it's um, authored by Lewis Carroll. And so, <sighs> 
unfortunately I haven't really gotten too far in the book like I want to but I am going to start making time now this is where my planning is going to come into place to to this is reading to me is almost therapeutic you know it allows my my mind to actually wander and calm down because if it doesn't I'm like always thinking about something to the point where sometimes it just makes me sick like literally sick so I am gonna actually try to carve out time at least once a week if not more to just sit down for a half hour maybe even an hour and just read and allow my mind to do its own little thing and then just center it back to reality because it actually works that's what works for me last but not least which you guys will see a video about this next week on Monday. It'll be featuring my baby girl, Karis. And it is this straight silk spray. And it's infused with argan oil. Um, it's pretty much a heat protectant. And at least that's what I've been using it as. But, it, I mean, that's what it is. It's a heat protectant. Protects hair up to 450 degrees. It's formulated to blend hair extensions with your existing hair. It doesn't contain any harsh chemicals, no alcohol, no sulfates, parabens, phthalates, or any substances known to damage the hair. So, um, I use this in Karis's hair, and when I say I 100% love this better than she um, heat protecting spray. So I know I don't know if she has changed their formula, but I used to always use she and it was great. It used to work great in my hair. It worked good in her hair when I first started straightening her hair. Um, but at some point they changed the formula because, you know, the last time that I used it, and I actually had to dump the, bot, the, the product, but the last time that I used it and I sprayed it in my hair, luckily it was mine and not hers, but it made my hair so crunchy just crunchy and dry and like it was a film over my hair and I had to rewash my hair again it was just it was like yo what 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 is really going over going on over at the chi headquarters and what did y'all slip into this like was this the bad batch was this a bad batch because listen it, it ain't cheap <laughs> so I was given the I was presented the opportunity to try out this uh heat protectant spray which when I tell you guys, this stuff is amazing. It didn't feel dirty in our hair. It didn't feel like if we were flattering it, like it was just, it almost like with the chi, it almost made that, that time that I put it in my hair, just made my hair feel so synthetic. And I just was like, nah, bro, we can't roll with this. And especially since we're in a transition point in Karis's hair, um, she has a whole nother kind of hair and I'll talk about that in the next video but this stuff I absolutely love I will put the link in the description box for you guys so that you can go and check it out if you need to read up a little bit more on it or if you want to wait and watch my video on Monday I'm telling you guys I I love this stuff um, just from the couple well few times I've used it a few times in both of our hair for uh, blow drying um, and I think I actually sprayed it in there before I flat ironed her hair too. And I'm really happy with it. Um, it looks to be only one, two, three, four ingredients. Water, dimethicone, cyclomethicone, and Argania spinosa or argan oil. I really do like this um, heat protectant spray. So I'll make sure to put this in the description box. This is something I'm absolutely loving right now. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. I didn't think this video was gonna turn out to be as long as it is, and I apologize if it's too lengthy for some of y'all, but you know, I'm winded, long, long winded. But um, those are the things that I'm loving. Everything that I can find online, I will put in the description box with links if I can find them. Yeah, I would check out some of these products if you're interested, especially this argan oil spray. Ugh. I'm telling you, I love this stuff. It's ridiculous. And then also, if you're looking to get something for a loved one, or if you want to just floss for yourself, then go ahead and, you know, personalize it for yourself. So I did, as you can see. <laughs> I got my own name on it, and I'm not mad about it. 
So if you guys have any questions about any of the things that you've seen in my video today, hit me up. I will try to answer to the best of my ability. And if there is somebody that can answer it better, I'll make sure to get it over to them. Make sure that you're following me on Insta, Twitter. You can follow me if you want to. <laughs> Definitely on Instagram. If you're not a subscriber of mine and you found this video to be either helpful, enjoyable, you thought I was funny, whatever the case may be, make sure you subscribe because I'll be sure to bring you more. All right, peeps, that is it. I will see you guys on Monday in the next video. Thank you.